Hello ladies and welcome to another episode of Finding Your Fashion Voice. Today we want to go bubble. I'm always an advocate of one part of the outfit should be striking and the other part should give it balance. Well not today ladies. Today we're going to go all red. Now you have to do something new. You have to be bold but you have to do what you feel comfortable with as well. You don't want to go so far off the spectrum and tell, okay, I'm not comfortable with this at all, and it didn't work. It's one thing when you're not comfortable with it and it works, but it's another thing when you you, you try it and it doesn't work and then you're uncomfortable too. Okay, no, 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 we don't want to do that. Um, Some of the questions from the last video were, how do you know about color and structure? How do you know what works for you? My answer, try it on. Nobody knows but you whether it worked or not. It's just you and Jesus in the dressing room. (laughs) So if it doesn't work, nobody has to know. (laughs) So again, um, you can, uh, and and, and, uh, ladies were also saying, well, how do I know what type of body shape I have? It's kind of like makeup, the pear shaped face, the long face, the oval face. Um, Go online and see like if you're top heavy or if you're bottom heavy, you know, see what styles work best for you. Um, and then try them on. Mention Max, whether you like bold prints or solids or stripes or, or bold colors like red or demure colors like black or maybe white or maybe even navy blue. So again, um, you can pair it up, whichever works best for you. But at this point, you would want the accessories to accentuate and help the outfit pop. Now, your bag can be real simple. Your bag can be like this. And then you can just have it. You need to put the strap back on it or you can have it just like this. Um, you can even, you know, make the shoes red, too, if you like. Go all out. <laughs> but again, you can still go to work in this and you can still be confident in this and you can still present. Um, you know, you can still interact with employees. You can do whatever it is that you need to do. But again, a lot of people are saying, OK, well, the structure of it, the things that they're saying that I'm showing are functional. And yes, you can work in them all day long. Um, But you still want to make sure that when you try something, that it works long term. I am not an advocate of seasonal attire. Like if it's a coat or something like that, that's fine. But when you're building your wardrobe and you're doing that Monday through Friday or 10 hour, 12 hour days, however long, you always want to make sure that if you put this on at 6 a.m. and you know it's going to be around 8 a.m. before uh, 8 p.m. before you take it off, that it can go with you throughout your day, no matter where your day takes you. That's the most important thing, whether you have to dress it up or dress it down or flats or heels or wherever the day takes you. Uh, So again, if you aren't sure, ask. The people in the store love to help with fashion as opposed to just ringing you out. (laughs) They actually, some of them are in fashion school. Some of them, you know, you, you have no idea what someone's passion is until you approach them and find out. So again, I want to thank everybody for the questions. I want to thank everybody for the feedback. And remember, ladies, find your fashion voice today. Thank you for all your support.